I've been in this room before. Yeah, no shit, you. This place exists between <laughs> dream, dream and reality. reality. <laughs> you know, he's like, oh shit, it the line's coming. <laughs> Hello? Is this Sensei? Yeah, what's, yeah, up? what's up? Oh, the, uh, the lips I'm move? really sorry to bring this up, but I forgot to tell you something very important. Oh, no. <laughs> I have a special request for the souvenirs. I'm sure you'll be bringing your best friend. His nurse magazine with the chest examinations and the bear behind. I'm gonna die. I don't mm -hmm. miss Teddy. Yeah. Physical pain. Come on down! Nobody touches his precious Nanako, the sister complex kingpin of steel, you Narukami! It's only natural. Wage slave in the boonies by day, hero by night. Captain Resultamo, Yosuke Hanamura! <laughs> Everything that bores me has gotta go! A spunky dragon with <laughs> deadly legs. The carnivore who's discarded womanhood, Shie Sakuraka! <laughs> Please escort me to the ring, my prince. The unconquerable snow black, Yukiko Amagi! I'll finish you in one strike. Blooming roses and bulging muscles. The blood-curdling beefcake emperor, Kanji Tatsumi! <laughs> Deep into realms of romance. The body of a child, the brain of a genius, the 2000 IQ Killjoy Detective, Naoto Shogane! Is this IQ an army of idiots? Oh my god! Right. Do you see how they called you a sister complex kingpin? <laughs> <laughs> Mine's not that bad. This Program's is the not gayest the only strange conversation. Thing lately. I didn't know you were into nurses. Ah, 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 shut up! That's enough! I happen to run into Yosuke at the elevators. We briefly greet each other. Guys are weird like that. Or you're just gay, but that- okay. Yosuke, are you alright? Huh? What are you talking about? I should be the one saying that to you. She's not even your real sister. All that big bro stuff really creeps me out. Alright, the jig is up. I'm putting the kibosh on this tournament right now. Hey, wait, hold on a second. It's so weird, I have to stop for a second, because, like, her voice doesn't- <laughs> It doesn't, like- Match the the face. I don't know. Like her accent's so weird. Just standing still in this world would be strenuous for a normal person, but she doesn't even seem out of breath. Quite impressive. Maybe she's a robot. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Guys, there's no way this could be the real Teddy. There's not nearly enough puns coming out of his mouth. I know. The stuff we say gets twisted around, so we end up fighting each other, right? I don't want to fight Chie. She would literally pulp like. You're the son of she a bitch who left us as soon as the last case ended, but you're still our good friend. I mean, you have it easy. You're just biting your friends. Oh my god! Please, Senpai, you have to hurry! If you don't, he'll- <laughs> She sounded okay, but who knows what might happen to her. She sounded okay?! While you are she just was like- Ah! Oh no, they're coming after me! You're a bright boy, Sensei. You know what's coming next, don't you? I have no idea. I need like 20,000 more words of text to tell me what's happening next. <laughs> oh, listen. Pardon my eccentric entrance. What? Is that Liz? That sounded like Liz's voice. Oh my God, it was. Ah, yes, we got Burning Bread song in the back. Yes. Be direct. I'd like for you to show me the potential slumbering within you. Oh, she wants to see our potential. Um, <laughs> die. What? Look at, what uh, why does she lay on the ground like that? She dies and she's like... We gotta go back and see that. So, there's another girl robot with a heart like you, and she's the cause of all this? Oh, wait. I we was kidding whenever I said that to the president her. was... My older sister, a robot. the fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon, Labris. I did it again. God damn it. Margaret is in her usual position. Margaret notices me looking at a looking inside a seductive sound. It seems my sister has caused you some trouble. Okay. Drawn to the light of your potential. Ah, everyone is always drawn to the potential. What else is new? Big bro. Oh no, not again. 
Uh, she calls to me, Manacles obviously been weakened by the TV world. She totters toward me unsettling, looking ready to collapse at any moment. No! Senpai, no! Nanako-chan's not there! Oh! Yay! <laughs> Is it Shadow? She really came from inside uh -oh, me? Uh-oh, you know what's gonna happen next. No, that's not me! Mitsuru-san! Akihiko-san! Oh. I'm Mitsuru Kirija, Labrys' handler. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Where is the horny chair? They're both hot as fuck! I'm just going to sit right in the middle of these two gods. All right, this is, um... Hello. <laughs> this is the last thing I expected out of this game. Oh my god. Why did they have to, like, vamp up the hotness dial by, like, as if everybody wasn't already attracted to Akihiko already? Like, they had to make it worse. Aw, oh, she's really gone. Are you a big Mitsuru Seriously? fan? Seriously. I wish she could have stayed a little longer. But what about Akihiko? I would have liked that myself. But they have their own tasks that must be done. They're fangirling over Mitsuru whenever Akihiko exists. I mean, like, she hot too, but like... I ensure that Nanako has put down the knife before I answer my phone. I didn't have to look at the screen to Hello? know who's Is calling. this Yosuke? Like you don't know. Listen about yesterday. They are so gay, they don't even need to coming. know who's the fucking calling. We will continue to fight on. As long as we have friends that will walk the path alongside us. Friendship! Let's let's just start with Liz here. My master has a large nose. How does he breathe in there? Oh god. Oh, there's a zipper. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop! I'm ticklish! Oh no! No opening! You're embarrassing me! Oh, please forgive me. Curiosity almost killed the bear. Even a tougher customer than the kids at the food court, miss! Oh, but on the other hand, if I can try scoring with you later, I might rethink this. Scoring? I do not understand the term, but if that is your stipulation, why, I accept. Oh no! Pardon my bold entrance. Uh, oh. Huh? oh, the monitor's completely shattered. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? Breaks oh, down the monitor. Oh, I thought we were oops, having a touching me? reunion. How unfortunate oh, so that you sorry. would to me. You entered yourself. Yet you're going to settle a score with a host for complaining about you? <laughs> huh, details. <laughs> I love her. Oh, Liz is the best. What is it referring to? Oh, you know, the fucking screens and walls that you just busted down, Liz. A little push was all it took Such to pass through them. Invisible walls, what are those? I just like touched it and it just shattered. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, you did well. <laughs> Thanks. There's no Stop need with to the thank sparkles. us. <laughs> Another man comes to join them. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> Dirtless and wore a red cloak like a desert nomad. He's a perfect example of someone who ought to be detained for questioning. <laughs> 2000 IQ killjoy detective. <laughs> killjoy detective. The shock leaves me dumbfounded for a while. Killjoy detective. Hey, but at least she's 2000 IQ, right? Kanji! <gasps> oh no, it only looks that you know, way. I've been thinking, the way you talk is so lame. Huh? Of course I don't think. Hell no, man. Hell. <laughs> you never warm up to anyone because you set your- I'm sorry, say that again? Hell no, man. You never warm up to anyone because you set your standards so goddamn high. <laughs> oh, not though. Oh, that was brutal. All right. How does Kanji's jacket stay on his shoulders? Maybe I, I shouldn't question anime. And I'm sorry, your friends must be facing their own troubles. It's possible that they've met Labrys without knowing it too. 
The records showed that Labras had some unknown experimental equipment. We don't know what she's capable of. Don't take her lightly. Mitsuru oh, changed no, so much in like two years. Right, she's nutty. Yes. In three, she was never this perceptive. In a matter of oh, like yes, two I years, her perception stat went up friends. like by 20 fucking points. I'm not talking yes. about her physical appearance chat, y'all thirsty fucks. Like anyway, talking about her personality. Make... But yeah, she is hot as fuck. He looks over uh, me over from head to toe and immediately Jeez, sneers you. mockingly. You have the physique of a 12 year old. <laughs> what? A detective needs a strong body more than a strong brain. All night research sessions, long stakeouts, you need stamina for that. You've got an overdeveloped chest, but from the looks of it, I'd say it's all fat and no muscle. Seriously. What? <gasps> Akihiko really said, do you even lift, bro? <laughs> Let me teach you the secret to bodybuilding. Holy First shit. thing, protein. Second thing, protein. Third, fourth, and fifth, more protein. I said it! Don't you think that's rather unbalanced? So Let's see what he thinks of my lack of protein in my diet after I kick his ass! Dude, okay. I'm imagining playing, like, uh, Persona Q2, which I imagine happened. It has to happen after all of this because, like, the P5 cast is in it, right? So it's, like, another four years after. Akihiko's gonna come into, like, Q2 and he's gonna be, like, the fucking Hulk! He's gonna be like, Whoa, protein! <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> Seriously, that was one sick bastard. Copying now, Chan was going too fur. Bad enough that it was in violation of my image rights, taking my form like that. I like one of them. I don't die. think we should. This TV is our escape route. Can we really fit inside? Ooh, are you a little too front loaded to fit? In that case, I wouldn't mind helping you squeeze through. You're even worse than before. You know that. <laughs> Thank you, Rise said it. <laughs> Teddy progressively gets worse and worse. It's a little fucked up. Ugh. Just absorbing all of this, like, data. Of the things you destroy. That's. Mm. Are you perhaps scared of fighting? Um, nah, I don't think that's it. I'm scared of losing you. Yeah, this isn't gonna end well. <laughs> Brace yourselves, chat. <laughs> I'm sure things would probably be much simpler if I stopped thinking and just obeyed orders. Oh, that's so sad. First, you will fight all the remaining units of your model type. Your objective is to destroy them, every last one. Destroy every last one of- DESTROY EVERY the LAST ONE OF THE- self-preservation, extreme Sometimes you just gotta stress. make a Dimitri reference, you know? <laughs> Destroying her won't do anyone any good. Come on. Have a heart. A machine telling humans to have a heart. <laughs> Though we knew each other for only a short time, I'm glad I met you. I feel the same right now as our mother did. I wish from the depths of my heart for you to be happy. We should take care to limit our studies to just the battle data. <laughs> it doesn't need any sentimental memories. You can delete those. Why make a weapon so emotional that it can cry? Hey, what's that warning? No. Labrys is in battle mode? Yeah. What? That can't be. There aren't any enemies. We're the only ones here. Yeah, kill these bitches, man. Is it on the verge of a persona reaction? Hell yeah, bitch! Well, it's like metal plates are completely covering it. I start tugging at them to try and tear them off. It's not just my arms, my legs have changed too. I stand my hands in confusion. <laughs> That's so British. <laughs> these are my hands, all right. Part of me knows... <sighs> God, I'm <laughs> like slipping. Sometimes I have the accent and then sometimes I slip to British. <laughs> it's a gun. He waves the muzzle in front of my face in a threatening manner. A body like that, and you gotta resort to a gun? <laughs> Pathetic. <gasps> uh? <laughs> a drink, huh? Do you have the good stuff in stock? It's hard to obtain that certain something around here. 
I haven't had any for a couple days now. Certain something. Actually, I'm starting to go into withdrawal. Please don't tell me he's talking about protein. Oh, protein. Oh my god. I need a shot of protein. Mitsuru's stalking him. She's the one who summoned me here for this mission. I didn't tell her any details about my return flight, but she must have found the information on her own and called after learning about my flight's arrival. Just answer the fucking phone! It's me. Goddamn visual novel. This guy is so horny for battle and protein, it's ridiculous. Can I just say there is no way that Persona 4, Persona 3 Portable is canon in any way, shape, or form because Akiko would never date FemC. There's no way that they would actually date. He's too horny for fucking protein. The air is clean and traffic is pretty light, so the town has that going for it. This would be a great place to go running early in the morning. Training only on the brain ever, 24 seven. I'm like exhausted thinking about what Akiko thinks about. Who are you? Oh, don't tell me. Are you a shadow? Well, I'm Teddy. Yes. I should have realized much sooner. It's not strength you truly desire. What you really want is to forget your fear of losing others. That's why you throw yourself so fervently into your training. It's a twisted form of escape. Ouch! Um, can I ask you to give her a message? Please tell her I said I was sorry. <laughs> For saying such cruel things and doubting her. Let her know I really want to talk with her when this is all over. Um, anyway, just tell her I apologized. I love yeah, Chie. Chie was such a good first girlfriend. You know what? I have no regrets. I swore I'd protect Labrys. And I'm not gonna lose what I'm protecting ever again. Oh, Akihiko. He's never gonna lose what he's protecting again. <laughs> Fuku Yamagishi, she's a friend of ours who helped us greatly in the battle three years ago. Look at how pretty she is. She's fucking... Gorgeous. I, I keep thinking about the the mastermind. Things that I think. It has to be a character that we already know. I highly doubt they would introduce a brand new character like at the last minutes of the game, you know? I think it's more likely a character that's in Persona 4 than in Persona 3. So if I look at like the pool of Persona 4 characters, that limits who it could be to. I don't think it would be a Persona 3 person. Definitely Dojima. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Probably a dachi. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I don't know how that would make sense, though. You know what? I really shouldn't roll out Persona 3 characters. I keep fucking around. What if it's but Kurosawa? Sure He's been a little game. sus this whole time. The cheekbones are kind of sus, chat. The enemy's objectives are still mostly unclear, but we don't even know who he is. We do have a lead, though. It's the fact that the mastermind knew about Labrys is a big clue. We're most likely dealing with someone related to Kiri Joe. Oh Don't man, there goes it. my Dojima we'll theory. Okay, so I'm completely that wrong. It's all, not a Persona 4 character. It must be a Persona 3 character. I don't understand why a Persona 4 character would know about Labrys and like the robots and anti-shadow weapons. That doesn't make sense. So my line of thinking is ass. I got it, Chet. It's Koromaru. Forensic team. What the hell is... What the f... <laughs> Team! You guys are all awake now, right? The mastermind behind all of this threw Labrys in a TV. So it has to be someone that has the knowledge of throwing people in a TV, right? But the Persona 3 characters have no idea about throwing people in a TV. I might be on to something. So maybe it is a Persona 4 character, but none of the Persona 4 characters have ties to the Kiryujo group. So I literally am, am stuck. I'm stuck. It's Dojima. I'm the culprit? What the fuck, chat? Am I really that sus? Chat, I would never throw anyone in the TV. The TV is not a horny jail, okay? I can throw people in other places. Be able to find Labrys. Whoa, I guess in a suit. I guess in a suit. I guess in a suit. Sorry, he's a rare breed. He's a rare breed of villain. Just kidding. Kurosawa is not a villain, even though his cheekbones look fucking deadly. We're already attracted to enough attention. Even if we leave now without doing anything, our pictures could still up and end up on the internet. Yu Narakami just rolls up to school one day. He walks down Amazing. the riverbank. He turns to his left. He's like, what the fuck? Why is there a giant limousine here? Takes a picture of it. Gotta post this shit online. Boom. Outed. It's no use trying to talk your way out of it. There's nothing to discuss. You don't even try to understand anyone anyway. If you want to wall yourself off from everyone, I'll be happy to end your lonely life here. 
shit. Yukiko Savage. Her cooking sucks. Everybody knows I'm that, though. Kirijo. What's like a I've deep, dark secret that Yukiko knows project. that she's never told anyone? I oh, her love for Chie. Oh, it's gotta be yes. that. Wait, was that like the, the kill? The, 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 the thingy? The, the, oh, the thing? Whoa. He got executed. That was pretty rough. You hired me for a commercial before. Oh, good. Um, thank you very much for your patronage. <laughs> she be sent it. I'm a classmate of the others you met, but I'm also kind of a starlet, and um, oh, it's hard to explain. This is so cute, actually. Turn. She's like fangirling over Mitsuru. Oh. That means the police selected as their observer is someone with the potential. Someone with the potential, the police knew. It's strange, but he reminds me of someone. Hmm, although his fighting stance, physique, and features are completely different. He still reminds me of the one who saved us. I like the, the look in your world. eyes. I will test your resolve with my sword. Whoa! But like, you really kind are of. a robot! Hey, uh, can I touch you? <laughs> Chie san, that's a bit impolite. It's hard enough restraining myself already. <laughs> Nato's jealous! Can I touch you? Nato's like, no, I, I wanted to touch her. What? You, that's rude. You can't ask. I wanted to ask. Tell me about the situation and make it quick. We don't have much time. Oh, no forensics team. All right. But you got exactly 30 minutes and not a second more. Forensics team. Sorry. Understood. <laughs> his voice, it just, it just makes me want to say forensics team. The last hijacker finally recovers from his shock and aims his gun. The girl pulls a button from the other man's sleeve and flicks it toward her opponent's face. The button travels at immense speed, though it was only fired from her fingers. Imagine getting beat by a button to the forehead. Hijacking a plane out of a desperate desire for undergarments. This incident will surely go down in history. <laughs> oh, I guess. <laughs> I love how I guess is so sure that that's More what they were after. She was so confident. Cargo. Frankly, I think we can assume that there'll be combat involved. Will you be all right with that? Is Igus okay with combat? Did she just ask that fucking question? <laughs> Mitsuru-san, may I say something that I've been meaning to say for a while now? No. No. Understood. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm a transfer student. I have blue eyes, blonde hair. Yeah, we see that, Igus. Uh... Gatling cannon. Huh? In the past, that prepared explanation for students has been effective. <laughs> I also okay. have a Gatling cannon. <laughs> Real smooth I, mean? I am curious, though. When you refer to your true appearance, do you mean the fact that you are a woman? How much can you see? <laughs> Suddenly, Nanta-san loses all of her composure and turns red as she covers her chest with her arms. Hey, not to sounds like, oh my god, how much you see? Not my biggest Would melons. You like Have you already forgotten the enlightenment you gained before me once? Has it escaped your prodigious goldfish-like memory? Uh, a dude storming across the battlefield in just a cape? Oh, I am all about that. As if I couldn't love Chie anymore. Chie is all of us. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, I love her. Or should I actually sponsor the next Miss Inabu? <laughs> Don't even think about it. <laughs> Mr. Ida <laughs> To make it back to the limousine, we would have no choice but to walk through the store. <laughs> Matsuru-san is in her skin-tight suit. Akihiko-san mostly naked except for his cape. Me with my mechanical parts exposed and Labras with her axe on her, or her wings, I suppose. Not to mention Teddy. Rise-san and Nato-san are both public figures. One is an idol and the other is a detective. We make quite an outlandish procession. <laughs> In fact, it is not cameras we need to worry about at all. It's the police. Everyone hastily agrees with each other and takes off at full speed. Mitsuru and Akihiko exchange fearless smiles, though cold sweat is streaming from both of their heads. <laughs> Teddy and Labras seem like they're having fun. I don't think they understand the situation. You and Yukiko run without a word like determined athletes. Kong
Sanji-san tries to turn and fight every so often with Nanto having to stop him <laughs> each time. Rizei san switches on her cell phone to find an alarming number of missed calls, which seems to be the bigger problem for her. In the end, our parting with the Yasugami High students <laughs> concludes with a brief goodbye as we all scatter like birds. <laughs> <laughs> what a disaster! What a fucking group of people, am I right? You mean, the thing I wished for that day actually came true? Indeed. It stayed alive for ten years. Thank you, Lapras. It's because of you that I found happiness. Oh. Huh. <sighs> I didn't know that. This is my second present for you, Senpai. Can't give him something half-assed. Oh. Plan for it all laid out perfect. Just got a knit till my hands fall off. God, she's so cute. I love this man. Oh, I get it now. There's only one way this could happen. This is just a dream. Oh my God. Even summon my persona? It's like I'm in the TV world. Yeah, it's like you're in the TV world, Kanji. This is one detailed dream. Oh my God. Dreams are impressive. I thought I wouldn't remember anything in detail, but I'm surprised how real this is. Man, this is getting annoying. Dream ought to be easier to understand than this. Dude, are you alright? <laughs> what are you talking about, Kanji kun? No, Please talk some sense like into him. To but man, why did I start thinking about Nalato? It was something Yosuke Senpai said. Have you ever been attracted to a girl? What's this all about? I popped into your head? I really hate this music. Why'd she have to be so damn formal? You're very flush, too. Do you have a fever? I'd finally figured out what I wanted oh, to say. Kanji kun then. What? I don't know why, but it feels so stiff. It's annoying. It's so damn formal. You'd like me to only call you by your name? Yes, Kanji, 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 Kanji. Yeah, yes. pretty much. Her face looks like a blonde girl, but her arms and legs are made of metal. When I try touching them, they're cold and hard. Damn, she really is a robot. This is more like a dream. This is more like it. Anyway, the robot's probably hurting worse than me. I smirk and look down at the evil robot collapse on the floor. Hey, it just dawned on me. <laughs> Check it out, I win! Oh my god. Now that's what I call a good dream. Everyone's been bitching at me, but Nato hasn't made a peep. Hello. How come you look so embarrassed? Oh, uh, I bet I know kanji why. Kanji? I mean, uh, Kanji. <laughs> Take it all back! Ah! Doesn't he get it? I fell in way before the other dudes, so there's only one See, explanation. My shadow did this. Damn it, why didn't I figure it out sooner? Kanji. I look around and call for it, but he doesn't answer. Where the hell did he go? Hmm, maybe. Yeah, I get oh. it. So he's even the less to me. Oh my god. Ah, what a guy! Your own shadow is definitely something you don't want other people to see in. He must have known I wanted to deal with this myself since it's really all my fault it happened. Inside you? I don't swing that way. I don't want to be stuck in a sweaty macho hell. Why? Kanji, you need to hurry to the announcement room. You don't have to tell me twice. That thing's my shadow after all. <laughs> These two are sharing a what? brain cell. Kanji's shadow? <laughs> it's true, they are. Seriously. It seems like a dream. Don't bring it up. Don't bring we up the don't dream have thing. To be this is the topic. 